Okay, so we are officially in Brownsville, and it's a huge change from Austin. It's super hot. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, it has been Charo Day's weekend, and so we're looking to celebrate and have quite a few drinks. <laughs> So it's about 5.30 in the morning. Um, I was supposed to be at the gym around 4.30, 4.45, but I didn't crash out until two yesterday because I was busy editing. So I gave myself a little bit more time to sleep. I'm gonna go, today is a pretty heavy leg day with light arms. And then uh, off to go roast some coffee, shoot some more photos, got to do some more editing. Today, I don't really know what we have planned, but we're gonna fucking take it on, so let's do this. Currently getting the car wash. Um, just man, today is just a lot of filming, a lot of fucking talking, trying to get uh, like just some good conversation in so we can put audio over some stuff. But there's so much going on right now in my life, and that's why I'm doing this vlog so that y'all see what it takes to fucking be great, what it takes to follow your dreams, to do what you want to do, man. Like the work is huge, right? But you don't want to work for nothing, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to just just work to work, yep. like work to hustle, work to post it and hashtag hustle, hashtag grind online. Who are you working for? Who are you chasing? And that's what positioning really comes down to it is the other side of it. Who is viewing your stuff? Mm -hmm. So if you have the common everyday people, that's attention and attention is great and you can make money off attention eventually. But if you marketed and position yourself to the right people, what I like to say is going fishing for whales, right? Mm -hmm. So you can catch a ton, ton of minnows, but are we gonna eat our minnows? Right? We don't eat, you know? You could eat on a whale, you could eat on a shark, you can eat on tuna, yep. you know what I mean? So you go chasing the large fish you know, that's what you're catching. Yeah. And by doing that, you have to position yourself. This is what I do and this is who I do it for. Yeah. I am at Austin Java now and I'm just roasting some coffee for the weekend, trying to fill up the bins that we got. Right there, got some coffee that I'm about to roast. Um, I just left Ames, you know, did everything I, I did over there, got some good footage, so probably going to edit that later on tonight also. Um, man, and I'm so stoked because we got a new coffee in today, Sumatra Ling Tong. I can't wait to roast it, man. We got it in yesterday, and I'm like super, super psyched to roast it. But my excitement right now really got me thinking about um, how many people out there are not happy doing what they want to do. The other day, Art and I were downtown and we were taking some photos. And I remember walking back to my car and I saw this guy check his watch, lets out a big sigh, and starts walking off to work. You could tell he was probably a waiter or something at a bar or at a restaurant. And it got me thinking to when I felt that way about my job, man. Um, I was working out of the coffee shop. I was a barista, a manager, I was the roaster, and I was running the social media and marketing in there. So I was working about 12 to 18 hours a day, man. And my boss was this fucking asshole. Some of my coworkers, not all of them, but a lot of my coworkers were just unhappy, negative brats, dude. And so then one day, I just decided to quit. I mean, I didn't have any other prospects. I didn't have anybody saying, um, oh, you know, we'll come work for us and leave that job. I just quit because I ended up realizing, like, why am I working at a place where I'm not happy? Why am I working at a place where I'm not appreciated? Why am I working at a place where 
everybody's negative and everybody's just this like angry zombie all the time you know so i quit and it was hard don't get me wrong you know there was a week there where i was just kind of like i don't know how to make ends meet like i was getting kind of worried because money in the bank account was running low but that's also to say man if you take big risks you're also going to get really big rewards now all that to say boom right see what it says right there roast master like two weeks after that i get hit up by chance foreman who is uh one of the main guys that aims and y'all see him on the vlog soon um, but he hit me up to do some of his photography and videos for aims glass here in austin so i said hell yeah you know it brought some income in here and there and then not long after that i get offered as a position as a head roaster as a roast manager or as the roast master for austin java now i'm working man you know i'm still working a good amount of hours but it's with people who I really respect people who respect me people who respect my craft people who admire what I do and that would have never happened if I stayed at this place where I was really unhappy and really just not wanting to be there man around a lot of negative people and I say all that because this is a reason why I'm duty doing daily vlogs like it's one thing to say like oh look at me like right now I'm succeeding right now I'm doing really good in life but a week ago, two weeks ago, I didn't even want to vlog. I didn't even want to record because I was like, man, there's nothing interesting and I'm not happy, you know? Like a couple months ago, I wasn't happy. I didn't even want to be at the job I was at. And it made me think to myself, man, I'm only gonna get better and I'm gonna advance in my career and I have so many things that I want to do and I know I'm gonna be successful, but I don't want people to see me when I'm at the top. I want people to see the struggle, the hustle, the process of what it takes to be at the top so this is what the daily vlogs are for man and i'm just saying like right now some of you out there may be in the position of like asking yourself should i quit my job or not because you're not happy you don't feel like you're respected dude i tell you to fucking do it quit that job pursue your passion do what you really love like you're only alive this one time why are you gonna be spending it doing shit you don't like with people who don't give a shit about you and people who you don't give a shit about either right do what you love and be great at it man so some of you out there right now are thinking should i quit my job should i get out of this relationship should i take this big leap do it just do it why the biggest poison to humanity is regret and man i've always tried to live my life with no regret and so that's why i just took that big leap quit and now i'm a roast master now i'm doing social media marketing for a badass company now almost every, like i'm getting hit up by a, bu a bunch of photographers and videographers who want to hook up and shoot I have so many opportunities now that I could not take then because I decided to bet on myself. I decided to do what made me happy and what I knew I was good at. So man, I was just thinking about that while I was roasting coffee right now and I thought, you know what dude, I gotta put this on, I gotta record it. Maybe somebody out there needs to hear this and if that's you, do it. Take that leap. What else, what else, what else do you have to lose, man? You fail? Great, everybody fails. But you know what, learn from that failure, okay? I'm gonna get back to roasting some of this delicious coffee.